Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on flask migration. Flask migration is very important, especially when you have data in your database. You cannot drop all the table just for editing, deleting or adding one column. Therefore, data migration is very important. Actually, some of my viewers have requested if I can make tutorial for Flask data migration. So in this video, we will learn how to use Flask migration. So let's start. If you go to here in Flask migration documentation, you will see everything. This will work in MySQL, but this will not work in SQLite. So you will get some kind of error. So first thing here, you can see we have to install Flask migrate. So let's start. I will just open my terminal and here I will navigate to my project directory. This will be desktop and then my shop and here I will just activate my virtual environment and bin activate now our virtual environment is activated so i will just write a pip install flask dash migrate and here you can see requirement already satisfied so the next step here i will come to here in our init.py here we have sqlite and everything i will import flask migrate from flask migrate import migrate and then i will come after this search i will just create one variable this variable i will name it migrate so equal to migrate and here i will pass app and uh, db this will be enough if we are using mysql but for SQLite, we have to use more of work. So let's see and what kind of error we are going to get and how to handle that error. So I will come to here in a model, create one new column and this column name will be just I will copy and paste it as F name. So we can see what we are going to get. If you are going to create new column, there should be two condition. One, the column should accept null and second if the column is not null then you have to provide default value so here column is null only just unique is false so we can add this to our database so let's see and i will come here write this flask db in it and you can see we get this you did not provide flask app so what i can do I will just export this flask underscore app and I will equal this one to our run.py and now you can see we didn't get any error here I will just do this init.py and here you can see creating directory and here the directory path and this new directory name is migrations done and inside the migration directory here is one another version if i come to here and you can see here is our new directory which is made by flask migrate so now we have to do if i come to here inside the new tab if i come to here cd desktop and then my shop and inside my shop shop because here we have to come inside okay so i have to cd shop here inside if you do ls you can see we have this test db we have to come here so what i can do now see the database table because actual light we cannot see so we will monitor our change inside here in this terminal so how can we do it and we have to write just sql light 3 and then database name test dot db and here now just dot tables and here we can see all tables so now you see we have these tables so if i do the migrate then we will see one another table that will be created by flask migrate and uh, 
come to this terminal I will just write here flask db migrate and dash m and here just a message migration I write here migrations and uh, just enter now here you can see detected add column a register inside the register if name if we do the upgrade this will be added so let's do flask db upgrade and now you can see and here the message is run upgrade initial this should be initial and okay whatever the spelling doesn't matter and here this column is added so now if I come to here see the all tables so now we have this new table this table is going to check if we have new update or not and now if I write here pragma and then table underscore info we are going to get with table info info of this register table so I will just copy and paste it here and then close the parentheses and then semicolon and here you can see we have this table column information if you notice here and this column is added to the last although we added after the name but the flask migrate has added this column to the last and uh, this is the column here if we come to check we have added column here but flask migrate has added this column the very bottom so it's done from here now the next thing here if I try to remove this column we will get one error so let's see what's that error I will just commit it out and now if I come here run this migration and you can see here the message detected removed column and this is the column name inside the register table column name that's good still here we don't have any error and everything is going smooth and if I do upgrade now and now you can see here we have this error SQLite exception error near drop syntax error now this problem is we cannot remove this column if I try to drop the column and we get this error we cannot drop this column if I go to here write this table information still we have this column here in bottom if you can see we have this column here so I will come here in in it after this migrate I will just write here with app dot app context and here I will give the condition if db dot engine dot url dot driver name not dot name this should be driver name equal equal to sqlite sql light if this one then we are going to write here migrate dot init app and here we will pass app then db and then we will pass here render underscore as underscore batch and here batch will be equal to true if we are using sqlite this will execute this course else and here will be migrate dot initial app and here we will just do app and uh, db and that's it if i come to here right here db upgrade error we got the same error so what we have to do we have to drop the new database table and also this new migration directory we have to remove i will just remove it and then i will come here to our database table here i will just write here drop table and here we have the name of table is new table which is this one so i will just come and remove this table and table name then colon and now if i come here see tables and now this table is removed so now if i go to here what we have to do we have to initiate this table and now this is done and then if i do here now i will correct this message this time this should be initial 
and now you can see and remove all of this one is detected if I do update and now it is upgraded so we don't have the error now if I do add this column I will come here just uncommit this column here and you can see now we will not get error after that we don't need too much just we need upgrade if I upgrade now and you can see this one is added also if you want to check you can check here this version has here new initialization of column every time so if I I will remove it so check if it's working or not and I will come back to here and we just upgrade so now you can see this upgrade is done so if I check now here SQLite and here we have this name is not deleted okay if I come to initial update and this one is detected and now if I do upgrade and I see we didn't get any error and this one is done after this and here the initialization and the new passcode is here now if I come to here to check we have this column or not very last column if I do here and now you can see we have this last date here so that column is removed and here so here you can see now we have three files whenever you do the migration you will see new file is created so I will remove this column here so we don't need it that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye